In Queensland, Brisbane, a world-leading mental facility operates around the clock studying a newfound disease. This illness is highly contagious and is currently spreading, leaving shattered lives in its wake. This outstanding structure, the Mogensen Unit, has been dedicated to research and befits those ideas that shaped it. We have been granted special access to the facility to film treatments and meet the leading research scientist and discoverer of this disease, Dr. Torre. It was first during my childhood that I spotted signs of this illness manifesting its symptoms into the young vessels of many children. One family which is dealing with this disease is the Montgomery's. Single mother, Teresa, is struggling to manage her 14-year-old boy, Jonathan, who is believed to be showing early symptoms of the newfound disease. Well, it was just in the past few months that Jonathan started to show these abnormal behaviours. At first he'd have these mood swings. Then he started going to parties, hanging out with friends. He's just so aggressive all the time. And he even started to look different. His hair started to grow longer and he wears black clothing, putting on makeup as if he's some emo or something. We're going out to dinner. Can you wear something more appropriate like this? Mm. Initially, I passed it off, but soon I realised it was happening to my son. It was good. I just want my son back. It was then that Mrs. Montgomery discovered Dr. Torre's best-selling novel, Addo Lessons, and decided to seek professional help from Dr. Torre for Jonathan. Ah, oh, welcome. You must be Jonathan. Come and take a seat. Good to see you. Take a seat. Recently you've been having changes in mood, yes? Uh, I guess. And you've been lacking in communication with others? I mean... Something and have like... you been showing any physical symptoms, like uh, perhaps growing in height, your hair, maybe a change in your voice? If I could just... Dear boy, no need to raise your voice to me. It seems quite clear that you are showing early symptoms of a newfound disease. I wouldn't worry, it's very common amongst your demographic. But... We'll just have to commence some tests on you in the next few days and we'll get you sorted out. Is that okay? But, uh... Come on, come on. It's the next day in the Mogadson unit and Jonathan has been summoned to change into the correct hospital attire for his advanced analysis. Now, Jonathan, I want you to say whatever comes into your head when you're looking at the screen, okay? Apple. Car. Shirt. Space. Up. Down. It is so crucial to determine how critically a patient has been affected. Uh, without it, the treatment won't be as effective. Though with me in charge, Jonathan will be right as rain in no time. Just a beautiful facility, isn't she? After intensive diagnostic testing, Dr. Torre kindly offered to give our cameras a view of his beloved institution. Ah, this is my personal favourite. It's my treatment room. We only use it for the most severely affected. So what is the treatment exactly? Um, effective, effective. Now let's move on, please. Well, we have the research, we have the techniques, we have the discipline. We just lack results. It may be a good idea to extend further subject testing, especially on that Jonathan boy. He's been great. No casualties, only progress. There shouldn't be any need to worry. I mean, we haven't had to put down any of our patients. We have begun a process called sensory stimulation. His energy levels are down and it seems to be slowing the process of the disease. Jonathan has really been showing major improvements. We have been modifying his diet too, hopefully to take him back to his roots. As Jonathan's treatment ends for the day, he decides to leave the Mogensen unit early. What are you doing? Where are you going? I was just going to go to a party with some friends. 
Code red, code red, quickly. Come on, come on, stay calm. We're going to the treatment room. 